All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over just the neck anatomy real quick. Um, this is something you definitely need to know, and they actually throw in a couple of things that I think you don't tend to see while you're scanning. It's not something we tend to look for because generally there's no pathology there, but I think they want you to understand what you're looking at. So basically what I'm talking about is when we're looking at the thyroid and transverse, basically like our view from the isthmus, what are you gonna see you know, through the, tr the thyroid, lateral, and anterior to the thyroid. I'm gonna go over an image first, and then I'll kinda show you how I draw it out, you know, when I'm in an exam, just to help rem me remember, because there's a lot of anatomy here. So we'll start with this view here, and what they really want you to know is that, you know, you know where your isthmus is, you have your trachea, this will have the acoustic shadow, of course. Uh, we have our thyroid, you know, left and right. These they don't mind. I mean, everybody's going to know this. They want to know what, you know, muscles we have and vasculature. Um, kind of the ones they, they tend to ask on, you have your sternocleidomastoid right here, but they don't tend to, to ask you about this one. So, I, I mean, you can know that. That's that big sheet muscle in your neck, but I, I wouldn't worry about that. Really worry about the strap muscle here. Those are the strap muscles, and you'll see those kind of running. They kind of run over the thyroid and down kind of towards the side. They will ask you about the strap muscles. The other muscle they ask is the longest coli, and it's back here. And I know this question gets asked because I've had a few people tell me they miss it. Um, so just remember that your longest coli is in the back. So I usually just write um, my strap and then put thyroid and then put the LC right behind it just so you kind of know that they all stand in a line. And then our sternocleidomastoids up here on the top kind of out, out more lateral. The vessels they ask you about it will be the carotid, which will be here. If they show you an image, of course the carotid won't be compressed, but the jugular might. And this is why I use this image, is this is the, the jugular here. And it's compressed, and there's another one here. And that one's compressed. So if you see them asking <laughs> what this, you know, this vessel might be, just remember that that's your jugular and then your carotid will sit here. The other one, and I've seen an image that's very similar to this one, they will ask what's sitting right here, and that's your esophagus, and you can't always see it. You just tend to see a shadow here because of the, the trachea kind of shadows it out as it comes over. So if, if you know just on your left side, posterior and medial to your, to your thyroid will be your esophagus. Another piece of anatomy that can sit in this image, which we don't see very well, will be our parathyroids. And they can kind of sit kind of like right in here. They'll kind of just sit like, you know, kind of in that area there. And sometimes you'll have an image with a very small structure with an arrow maybe pointing right there. Uh, most likely those are the parathyroids. If they talk about the longest coli muscle, they're going to ask you a muscle. They won't just say what's this structure here because there's too many small things, especially on the left with your esophagus, longest coli, and parathyroid sitting there. So rather than trying to remember that, what I'll, I'll do is just draw my quick thyroid on my scratch paper. The thyroid, I'll write my trachea. You can put your esophagus here. Your longest coli sits here. You have your strap muscle. Kind of comes across. Yeah, that's terrible drawing. Strap muscles here. Sternocleidomastoid out here. So generally what I would do is I would draw the strap, the, the thyroid, and the longest coli, and just write, you know, your ST and then your LC. These are the ones I hear most often. They ask what's anterior 
or yeah, anterior to the thyroid or what's posterior to the thyroid in relation to muscles. If they're going to ask about vessels, they might ask what artery is lateral. That'll be your common carotid. Um, it may be what is, uh, trying to think of how they word it, it's more of a, what's a compressible vessel that's lateral to the thyroid, and that would be your IJV, your internal jugular vein. So if it says anything about compressible, that's going to be your vein. If it's anything just about a lateral vessel, usually they will specify artery or vein. That's going to be your common carotid. Rarely will they ask about parathyroids. Just know that they kind of sit in there. Um, they do ask about the esophagus on the left. And they do ask about the trachea. Uh, two things I do know that, that may come up, if they have a long image of the thyroid, there may be a little round structure here, and that will be your parathyroid. I think if they ask about your parathyroid, it's generally going to be a long image of the thyroid, not a transverse. The other thing is they will ask, you'll have a, so what the, they will ask is about the, the trachea. Basically, they'll say what um, structure is medial to the thyroid. It will may have rain down artifact. You see these. But really, your image is going to be these tracheal rings right here. It'll be the tracheal rings you see there. A lot of times, it's either a question talking about the medial to the thyroid or it'll be ringed down. All right, well, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, of course, you can feel free to message us at examrefresh.com. If you need more study materials, whether it's the video lessons or our study guides, we also have practice tests. You can find all of that on our website. I will put the links in the description. Thanks. Mm -hmm.